of out the shower feeling great, okay? Making sure my deer guard's clean so I can sit on it. <laughs> hey, it's a good day. Uh, taking a 34 right now. Taylor's sleeping, he's gotta work in a few hours. I'm about to cook a steak, but wanted to get a video. My good friend, Brandy, told me I should do this video. So I wanted to get this video um, because it's, it's definitely a little bit useful. If you're just now coming out on the road or something like that, there are certain apps that are useful for truck drivers, okay? So I was like, look, I'll mention a few. Um, strongly advise you playing with them, becoming very familiar with them. If you're in TNT, you definitely wanna become very familiar with these apps. All right, so let's pop off on the first one. First one is every 511 DOT app available. Every single one of them. And even if they don't have one for a state, sometimes they'll be called something differently. It just won't say 511. But even if they don't, oh, oh, oh. Can we have a, a brief intermission? Right? Anyway, even if they don't say 511, it says Friday trucking. I hear you, brother. Even if they don't have one for a state 511 app, some of them are called different things. I don't remember right now because the weather's been so nice for a long time. But uh, just look, 511 apps, if you don't know, they'll tell you about the weather, they'll tell you about road conditions, closed roads, etc., etc. As we march into winter, you're gonna wanna make sure you have these on your phone. You don't wanna wait for it to download when you're trying to take off at the end of your vehicle inspection, okay? Have these on your phone already. Wyoming, Colorado, Virginia, West Virginia, Idaho, Utah, New Mexico. I'm trying to think of other Tennessee, Kentucky. I'm trying to think of other states uh, here. I'll uh, even where's my 511 here? I got a whole folder for it on my phone, right here. Okay, I got Minnesota, uh, Nevada, I already said Utah, PA, Arizona, South Dakota. Okay, I got. I just downloaded them all, all at the same time, okay? All of them at the same time. Wisconsin, I mean, Wyoming, Iowa, Nebraska, Missouri. <laughs> all right, so uh, you definitely wanna have your 511 apps. If not, you can almost always go on websites and view information about road conditions. Furthermore, you can also view highway department cameras. This is useful because you can see the road conditions. Is it covered in snow? Are they still trying to plow it? Has it been plowed? Do you see 10, 18 wheelers go by on the camera within like five minutes? Look, this isn't, this isn't the only kind of question I ask myself when I ask myself, hey, are we gonna take off? But this is definitely one question I ask myself, okay? If I look at a highway camera, bro, and I see 15 trucks pass by, that means I can do it too. If I see one, he might be crazy. If I see two, two, you know, birds of a feather flock together, that guy's with the other crazy guy. But when I see 10, 11, 12, when they riding, okay? Now, like I said, that's not the only thing. I also take into consideration many other factors, the weight of my load, forecasted weather, my driving experience, am I scared? You know, stuff like that. But dog, cuz, if you see 15 trucks pass by big dog, you might need to get to work for your dog on, uh, for your, uh, for your fleet manager get on you. All right, so that's 511. Let's see what other app, Trucker Path. I don't even need to look at my list for Trucker Path. Y'all, okay, if you're not familiar with Trucker Path, Trucker Path is basically a uh, an app that will show you Almost every trucking destination, almost every truck, trucking spot, whatever you might call it, that uh, that may interest you. For example, I use it to find Walmarts. You can search along your route, you can search in your nearby area, you click on the icon for Walmart, it's gonna pop up with information such as address, phone numbers, reviews by truckers only. Um, and as well as do they allow parking, how many parking spots do they have, et cetera, et cetera. How many can you fit in that Walmart parking lot? You can also see various truck stops, whether they be national chains or mom and pop stores, tell you how many spaces they have, do they have laundry, how many showers do they have, et cetera, et cetera. Address, phone number, reviews by different truckers. Also, rest areas, way stations. Uh, what else do we have? 
that, that's primarily the types of places I look for on Trucker Path. You can also put your address in and, uh, you know, basically just this dude just drive all close to me. All right, bro, set down, right? Anyway, you can put your address in, your destination address, and uh, you can kind of tell it to plan a trip. And uh, this dude can't park. He trying to be, he trying to be cute. I'm sorry. You don't talk about people like that. Mama say, if you ain't got nice, nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. But I'm just saying, he trying to be cute, driving all close to me, but bro, you can't, you, you need to learn to set up how to park your truck. You worry about me, you know what I'm saying? All right, so trucker path, that's trucker path. Um, yeah, you can also plan a route and it'll show you everything that's on your route. I should have helped this dude just to show him, like, dude, you're trying to be smart with me and you need my help. That's what you really need. All right, let's go to the next apps, all major truck stop chains, okay? When you fuel up, I don't care if you're a prime or not, whether you, your carrier has some sort of discount, when you fuel up, let me help this dude. When you fuel up, when you fuel up, yeah, he got it. When you fuel up, you can get points if you have these apps and if you have a rewards card. So you definitely want to download all the apps, get the rewards cards, scan your card every time you're fueling, buying something. As well, with the app, you can order your shower without getting out of your truck. So order your shower, it might, you might be, it might be one shower room open and one dude walking inside the truck stop about to get him a shower. You do it on your app, you just beat that guy and it gives you 10 minutes to get to your truck stop, to your shower room, excuse me. So that's that also, all right, all the major, and they also give you, it'll tell you like discounts, it'll tell you, little deals they got going on you know buy one get one water or whatever you know pack a gum 50 cent off stuff like that okay all right let's go on to the next one okay this is the last one i'm gonna mention all right last one is the cat scale app way my truck okay cat scale app cat scale app is going to show you where the nearest cat scale is sometimes you don't know and don't nobody have time to just be driving around right um if you think your load might be too heavy for you to take then you know, sure would be bad if you got 300 miles down the road and went through a way station and boom, caught, okay? Sure would be bad if you just started, you just got on the interstate, started driving, and then uh, waited till you got to the nearest truck stop. Nearest truck stop turned out to be two hours away. Now you finally done scaled your load and you, you see what I'm saying? And it's too heavy when you got a car hauler passing by. When you could have use the app and it might have been one 10 minutes in the other direction okay um you can also add your debit card on the uh way my truck app and uh you can just you don't have to push the button and you know do it first way reway you know what i'm saying you don't have to push the button talk to the attendant walk inside yada 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 you can just do it right there from your app sends the, the scale ticket to your phone and you have everything you need if you get stopped by an officer all right those apps are probably the most functional apps I have on my phone as far as trucking goes. Notice I did not say Google Maps or something ridiculous like that. Nevertheless, those apps are probably the most functional app I have on my phone for trucking. Most used apps I have on my phone for trucking. All right, hey, look, check it out. I gotta go. There's a steak that is sitting at room temperature waiting on me to cook it. I need to preheat the dog on Galan's. Um, kind of salivating just thinking about it. Got some egg rolls to go with them. <laughs> I tell JL, Johnson's Logic, I tell JL I'm making Japanese food. Just in case, I don't know if he's revealed this to y'all, Johnson's Logic speaks Japanese. So now that we know that, everyone can head right on over to Johnson's Logic's channel and tell him we would like to see him say something in an introduction in Japanese. He really enjoys doing it, he enjoys speaking Japanese, and according to his social media, he enjoys getting in Uber cars and acting as if all he speaks is Japanese. So that's pretty funny, right? We love you, JL. Check it out. I love y'all. Find y'all somebody to love. Don't forget, it's not about what you believe. It is why you believe it. Live free.